Hello Maker! In this video I want to share my experiences to find the best slicing strategy, especially for objects with flat bottom surface. Using support structure on flat surface, yes or no? Rotate the object to avoid flat surface being parallel to the z-axis? These are the questions I want to clarify in this experiment. For the test I have created a cube in FreeCut with edge length of 15mm. One side is recessed by 0.5mm with a triangle, opposite side with a circle. Second cube was prepared with 3mm hole halfway through to verify impact of reduced surface tension. In Photon Slicer we will place the cube now with different strategy. The first cube will be placed flat on the plate without using any support structure at all. The second cube will be placed with 2 mm distance to the plate. Afterwards, medium sized support will be added by using the auto support feature. In this test, no support shape will be added manually. The third cube will be rotated by 45 degrees on the X and Y axis. Distance to the plate is set to 1 mm. Afterwards, medium sized support will be added by using the auto support feature. Some support shapes on the sides with engraved triangle and circle will be manually removed.
the last cube with the hole halfway through the cube will be placed on the plate with 2 mm distance. Also here I will apply support structure using the auto support feature. Support shapes placed very close to the escape hole will be manually removed. Let's go and print the test objects, which will take about three hours. Afterwards, the printed objects are cleaned with isopropanol and cured for some time with UV light. Now it's time to have a closer look on the printed objects. Let's start the verification of the first cube, which was placed directly onto the plate without any support structure. Here I need to mention that it was very difficult to remove this object, as it was sticking very strong. Because of this issue, I would not recommend to place flat surfaces directly on the plate without any support, but coming to the final conclusions again at the end of the video. On the printed object we can see deformation on the first layers on all four sides of the cube. Some deformation is caused by the difficult mechanical removal. Others are caused by the long curing time which is mandatory for the first layers to assure proper adhesion on the plate. Now we are going to observe the second cube, which was placed with 2mm distance to the plate 
and support added with auto support feature. On this picture we can see pretty nice corner printed on the right side because support structure was added. On the left side the corner is strongly deformed because the auto support feature did not place support structure here. The lessons learned from this print is to add support structure if needed also manually at every corner. From the second picture we can see pretty nice corners on both sides because support structure was placed from auto support feature. Anyhow the edge in the middle is wobbly because the support structure too far apart from each other. From this we learn that enough support structure should be added on flat surfaces. The already mentioned issues we can also see on sides 3 and 4. Let's move on to the verification of the third cube which was rotated by 45 degree on X and Y axis and support added with auto support feature. Except the very small lines on the surface which are almost not visible when inspecting the printed cube with naked eyes, the print is almost perfect. All sides of the cube are printed very well. No real imperfection is visible. It really seems this kind of strategy provides the best printing results. But judge yourself when going through the inspection of every side on the cube. Finally, we want to observe the last print which was with the hole halfway through the cube, which was placed with 2 mm distance to the plate and support added with auto support feature. Reason for this test was to verify if reduced pressure on the surface when dipping down into the resin bath is showing changes in the print quality. Except a very soft line on the outer surface at the height at the end of the hole, no quality difference to the second print without hole was visible. Anyhow, I would recommend to hollow the objects and add as much as possible SK poles. This will allow you to save lot of expensive resin and the reduced pressure between printed object and resin bath should have positive impact to the print quality. At least on very large surfaces which was not the case on the printed cube. Coming now to the final conclusions and recommendations from this test. First of all, you should not place the object flat down without adding any support. The first layers needs to be overexposed, which leads to scattering of hardened resin impacting the final print. Additionally, it will be very difficult to remove the printed object due to overexposure and you might damage the part while removal from the plate. If you need or insist of placing large surface parallel to the build plate, then you need to add support structure manually on every corner from the printed object. Otherwise the edge will wobble up and down while printing the first layers and cause ugly surface. To achieve best results, it is recommended to avoid large surfaces being placed parallel to the set axis. This can be done by rotating the object 30 to 45 degree on the X and or Y axis. Besides this, it's necessary to place enough support structure every few millimeters. The impact from the support structure to the surface is very low on resin based printers compared to FDM printer. Therefore, it's better to add more structure rather to risk ruined print at the end. Finally, I want to show you some best practice based on my later print of the Eiffel Tower. Here I have manual placed support structure on every corner of the base feed 
and the outcome was really excellent. I hope this video was useful. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.